Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. So today we're gonna be talking about an anti-haul. Dun, dun, dun. Enter your dramatic music now. This is the first time I've ever done an anti-haul. I'll be focusing on items today that, um, unlike Tuesday's video where I was talking about makeup that was on my wish list, um, today's video we're gonna be talking about makeup that I'm not planning on buying. But I'm still gonna try to keep it positive just cause I'm, I mean, today was crazy. Uh, it was a crazy work day, you know, no day's gonna be perfect. Um, so I do have like pain all over me. My hair is a little sticky because of this juice box incident. So it was a crazy day, but I feel so happy. Like I just, I feel happy and energetic. So besides an anti-haul, I don't wanna make it negative. Um, this is just stuff that I'm, I just, is, I'm not interested in and yeah, and just let me know if you tried these items, if they're actually good. I've never seen them in person. I've only seen, you know, the photographs that we get on Instagram. If you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, so unlike Tuesday's video, today I'm going to put the pictures on this side. You can see on the screen, the first thing is some Natasha Denona Metallic Liquid Lipsticks, which will be available on the 17th of this month, actually. Um, so, not that... I wasn't intrigued. I saw it and the colors are really beautiful. Um, this one I'm not going to be picking up just because the type of liquid lipstick that it is. I've just never been into metallic liquid lipsticks. I did speak about that in a different video of makeup regrets. Um, but yeah, the shades are beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's just the type of liquid lipstick that it is. This is just one that is, I'm not going to be picking up. Next one we're looking at Huda Beauty NYMPH which stands for not your mama's pantyhose okay i guess that's the name i couldn't find anything else on it um apparently it's a body highlight it's 49 dollars. i love the packaging it's so beautiful um the colors look interesting i'm just not into buying high-end body highlights i mean i have powder highlights i think that will work just fine i've seen people you know put it on their their shoulder like you know and make it glowy um you could use your liquid highlights i don't think you need to spend 49 dollars it's trending and summer's coming but this is one that for me it's not worth it and i won't be picking up actually um the brand ebin i e b i n um they actually have a liquid it's like a bottle I have it over there. Um, I don't want to get up. I'll put a picture of it actually. Um, they have three shades and they're really beautiful as well. That's something that I use all the time. It's more like glittery though, but it looks beautiful and it smells really good. And it's only, those are only $15, which I think is a better, better situation because $49 for a body shimmer that you're probably not going to be using all year round. That's just one that I'm not going to be picking up. But you know, if you're interested, I'll link the, the Edmund one down below. So this is one that, I mean, looking at his face, he looks so happy. He's so cute with his little face mask on. Um, this is a Makeup Revolution um, collaboration with Jack Jamie. And he looks like a nice guy. I saw the video of him applying the face mask and nothing against him. I don't follow him, but I'm kind of interested. Um, the face masks are very interesting and different. This is not something that we see every day. The masks are $11. She also came out with the spray. I'm not sure what it does. I think it's like a hydrating spray. It's $7 if you're interested. Um, but this is one. So I'm going to be filming my lazy girl skincare routine. So you guys can see what goes on after I take off my makeup. Because I do need help with my skincare. Just because I'm not really educated on that. Um... So if you guys have any recommendations, I'm going to upload that soon. I'll film it soon. But yeah, so I don't really buy a lot of skincare. Um, you guys will see that soon. Um, so this was interesting. Like I saw it. It's just, I feel like I'm going to be putting food. Like the the red one, the um, is it strawberry or watermelon one. It's just, it's not something I would pick up. I mean, they look interesting and they probably hydrate your face. I read somewhere that this is like an Instagrammable mask. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, yeah, this one, not something I'm going to pick up, but I'm really excited for him and his collaboration. Well, let me give you some details on them, actually. I did write it down. There's a watermelon one. There's a cocoa, coconut mango chia seed one. And there's a cocoa and oat. If you're interested, I'm going to link it down below. Lime Crime and these are, let me see, 
They're the Lip Blaze Cream Liquid Lipsticks. And these retail for $20 and there's 12 shades. This is one that I saw and of course, you know, the packaging intrigued me just because neon green is like really big right now. Like it's like, you know, a trend. Name Lip Blaze. It did come out, I believe it came out on 420. I felt like they just tried to jump on the train of 420 and, and neon green. And the shades are, to me, a little boring. Today I'm wearing a new lips, liquid lipstick, but usually I wear like, you know, like different kind of shades. My, those are not my shades, and I believe they're glosses. It's not something that I'm interested in. I mean, the packaging is nice, but I'm not going to buy it for the packaging, you know? I feel like the packaging is a little more interesting than the actual colors. Let me know if you're going to try it. I think they're available already. Let me know if you tried it. Tell me if they're good. I'm not sure. I've never tried anything by Lime Crime. Yeah. No, this one is just self-explanatory. This is just really boring. <laughs> like, I feel... Because Marc Jacobs, you know, is a respected brand. High-end, of course. This is a Marc Jacobs Runway Collection. And all I put was overpriced and boring. It's just... That's all I'm going to say on this. So next one we're talking about is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palettes. And these, I believe they're not available yet. Uh, what else? So... This is just one that glowgasm, like really, there's nothing else that you could think of, another name that doesn't have to be sexual, you know? I mean, it's interesting, like, not even, a uh, name whatever. Like, you can name your product whatever you want, right? The packaging is just not calling to me, like, well, the packaging looks nice, high-end. The inside, how the powders look, just the way that, that the letters are imprinted, looks like extremely pronounced like the imprint that they put on the pan it just looks like too much maybe like I, I would never pick this up this is just one that I'm not gonna pick up I already know as soon as I saw it um, I'm sure it's gonna be overpriced as well yeah so I've never tried BH cosmetics um, but I have seen their stuff I've heard a lot of good things about their products this is one that they're coming out with the summer loving palette this is just so boring like i wish that they would put like more colorful shades they seem like really safe shades and really boring and just the way that they're set up the packaging is a lot more intriguing than the actual palette it comes with the mirror as we can see i feel like the swatches don't look like the palette like the picture that we have next to it i don't know it's just not one that calls out to me this one is this and it sucks because I did go watch um, Avengers Endgame. Of course, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't. And it was really, really good. Um, tears were shed. I have to say, a lot of people were crying in the theater. But I was really disappointed when I saw this. Like, I think they could have done better with this collection. Ulta brand collaboration with the Avengers, Marvel Avengers. And of course, you know, the packaging is nice, you know. But the product itself, on the inside, the colors are extremely boring um, within the palette and the highlighting palette looks interesting, but I don't like the palette. The liquid lipsticks, I believe they're liquid lipsticks or maybe they're glosses, I don't even know. This is just one that I'm not picking up and it sucks because I really, really like the movies and the franchise, you know, the Avengers are like a really big thing, really nice. It just sucks that the, the actual palette itself is not you know it's not fun it's boring and yeah i wish they could have made it a little different so we made it to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this for you all the products i mentioned today of course will be linked down below if you're interested and also last week's videos will be there as well you know if you care to watch those they'll be down the, down in the description box as well like to follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave my Insta handle right here. On my Instagram, we do a lot of makeup finds. That's like the main thing. I do my palette lottery, which I'll be explaining on a, in an upcoming video soon. A lot of like reposting of like new palettes that are coming out. It's a lot of fun over there. I post daily. Join our little squad, our little group over there. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes are blue, mere pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me swoon Our love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you, all I can think is My summer love will wait